solve this equation, where x, y and z are rational numbers. There are three variables in one equation. How to solve this equation? It seems to be not straightforward. But we notice that, the equation contains x squared and 3x terms, y squared and 3y terms, z squared and 3z terms. By adding 3 over 2 all squared, that is 9 over 4, to each pairs of terms. We can complete the squares. So equation 1 can be written as, x squared, plus 3x, plus 9 over 4, plus y squared, plus 3y, plus 9 over 4, plus z squared, plus 3z, plus 9 over 4, equals 3 times 9 over 4, minus 5. x squared plus 3x, plus 9 over 4, is equal to, x plus 3 over 2 all squared. y squared plus 3y, plus 9 over 4, is equal to, y plus 3 over 2 all squared. z squared plus 3z, plus 9 over 4, is equal to, z plus 3 over 2 all squared. 3 times 9 over 4, minus 5, equals 7 over 4. Now multiply the equation by 4, we have, 2x plus 3 all squared, plus 2y plus 3 all squared, plus 2z plus 3 all squared, equals 7. We let, 2x plus 3, equal u. 2y plus 3, equal v. 2z plus 3, equal w. Then the equation can be written as, u squared, plus v squared, plus w squared, equals 7. By substitutions, equation 1 is converted to equation 2. We can see that, equation 1 has rational solutions, if and only if, equation 2 has rational solutions. Assume that, equation 2 has rational solutions. We let, u equal a over d, v equal b over d, and w equal c over d, where a, b, c and d are integers, and d does not equal 0. Then equation 2 becomes, a squared, plus b squared, plus c squared, equals 7d squared. Now we can see that, equation 2 has rational solutions, if and only if, equation 3 has non-zero integer solutions. Assume that, a1, b1, c1, and d1, is a non-zero integer solution of equation 3. With modulus of a1, plus modulus of b1, plus modulus of c1, plus modulus of d1, minimal. Because any perfect square t squared, is congruent to 0, or 1 modulo 4. So a1 squared, plus b1 squared, plus c1 squared, is congruent to 0, or 1, or 2, or 3 modulo 4. And 7d squared is congruent to 0, or 3 modulo 4. This implies that, for a1, b1, c1, and d1, to be a non-zero integer solution of equation 3, we must have, a1 squared, plus b1 squared, plus c1 squared, is congruent to 0 modulo 4. And 7d squared is congruent to 0 modulo 4. Or a1 squared, plus b1 squared, plus c1 squared, is congruent to 3 modulo 4 and 7d squared is congruent to 3 modulo 4. That is to say, either a1, b1, c1, and d1, are all odd, or a1, b1, c1, and d1, are all even. Because any perfect square t squared, is congruent to 0, or 1, or 4 modulo 8. So if a1, b1, c1, and d1, are all odd, then a1 squared, plus b1 squared, plus c1 squared, is congruent to 3 modulo 8. But 7d squared is congruent to 7 modulo 8. This implies that, a1, b1, c1, and d1, is not a non-zero integer solution of equation 3. This is a contradiction. So a1, b1, c1, and d1, are all even. Now we let, a2, b2, c2, and d2, equals a1 over 2 b1 over 2, c1 over 2, and d1 over 2. Then a2, b2, c2, and d2, is a smaller solution of equation 3. This is a contradiction. And this implies that, 
equation 3 has non-zero integer solutions. So equation 1, and therefore the original equation, have no rational solutions.